ProLay 7 Plus software has an extremely useful tiling feature that when used with an XY or rotary motion axis configured to be controlled by ProLays allows the system to mark complex objects over large areas or circumferences. This video simply demonstrates the ease of marking panels with ProLay 7 Plus when the panel size exceeds the size of the marking field. ProLay 7 Plus has the ability to segment the marking job into tiles. The size of a tile can be defined by the user, but it cannot exceed the marking field of the lens. In our demonstration, we're going to mark a panel that is considerably larger than the marking field of our laser. In order to do this efficiently, we created two graphic files. The first file is just a reproduction of the panel manufacturing drawing. It will not be marked. We're only going to use it as a template to size and position the second graphic, which only contains the information that we're going to mark on the panel. We first import the graphic panel into ProLays, as we've done here. Since the manufacturing drawing contained the dimensional information about the panel, we already know what size to give it in ProLays. If we go to the properties of that graphic, we'll put in a height of 7.832 inches, and that's going to give us the appropriate size of the panel, uh, as it really is. If we go to the general properties, the general tab, we'll make it inactive. So now this object isn't going to mark. We can only, we, we'll only use it as a template. Next we'll import the graphic that has the marking information. So I'll put in a new object, a graphical object. I'll select the graphic that has the panel marking information. I know how big I want that information to be, that graphic to be on my panel, so I can just put in the height. I'm going to add fill to it because the graphic was created as an outline only and I want the objects to burn out solidly. I'll give it two laser passes. Now the graphic is imported into ProLays, but you can see that it's not precisely precisioned over the panel. So I'm going to move it around by hitting my arrow keys until my marking information is superimposed over the panel. In my layer properties, I'm going to select Auto Tile X is Y. That's going to put me in an auto tile mode. I'm going to set a tile width for my X axis of 6.4 inches. That's the size of the tile that the marking object will be broken into. I can disregard my Y position because my marking field is large enough that the, that the width of the object will fit within my marking field. I'm now ready to mark the object. We've taken our newly created laser marking job file over to an actual laser marker. We placed a panel on our x-axis table and centered the panel using the red guide laser built into the marking system. We've clamped the panel in place to prevent it from sliding during table repositioning. If we open the mark control window in ProLays, hit mark and we'll let ProLays take over. The system is now marking the first of the three tiles that it broke the marking job into. The table repositions, then marks the second pile. The table repositions a final time to the third tile. It's going to mark that information, then return to the home position so a new panel could be loaded.